Hello and welcome to the 2021 opening convocation and matriculation ceremony of Teal College. The ceremony celebrates the official acceptance of the first year and new transfer students at the college. As faculty marshal and on behalf of the college, I, I declare the fall 2021 matriculation to be convened. Please stand for the opening prayer given by campus pastor Brian Riddle. Good morning. Let us pray. Gracious God, we have all walked a challenging path to get here today. We have all encountered challenges and known hardship, and some of us gathered here today still grieve the loss of friends, of community, and of more peaceful times. Yet we have also seen the power of friendship, of community, and of belonging to something much bigger than ourselves. In your mercy, protect us gathered here today and our alma mater, Teal College. Give us the strength and courage to meet adversity with faith, to grow with each other in love and respect, and to work together for the common good. Place, place us on a path to find our true humanity, that we find meaning and purpose in life through using our gifts in service to others. Heal our wounds, Lord, inspire us with your spirit, and give us your blessing this year as we seek truth in this place. For all our prayers and everything else you know we need, we pray. Amen. Good morning. My name is Mike McKinney, and as Dean of Students, it's my pleasure to welcome everyone to this year's Opening conv Convocation. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what Opening Convocation is, it's an important ritual that has been performed at many colleges and universities across the country for hundreds of years. At Teal, Opening Convocation brings us together to formally welcome new students as they begin their academic journey at Teal and to celebrate the start of a new academic year. Each year at Teal, we have three important academic gatherings, Opening Convocation, Honors Convocation, which takes place in February, and Commencement, which happens in the spring. Each gathering is an opportunity to celebrate together as an institution the important academic milestones and accomplishments of our students and campus community. To the new class of 2025, new international students and new transfer students, we have been looking forward for many, many months to get you on campus. And I think I can speak for all my colleagues in saying that we are so excited to finally have the opportunity to begin working with you. Having the chance to have met many of you throughout the summer orientations, camps, and other programs, I can tell that this group of new students has many great leaders, artists, athletes, and scholars. And I look forward to seeing how your contributions help to shape the Teal College community in new and better ways. In fact, I'd like to acknowledge the many members of the first year class who arrived to campus already with academic recognition. So if you will, could all of the members of the class of 2025 who are Resch, Boffman, or Dietrich Honor Scholarship awardees please stand up to be recognized. <laughs> Congratulations on earning these distinguished scholarships. I would also like to recognize and welcome another very important group of students, our graduate students. This year's ceremony is special as it's our first opening convocation in which we could invite our, our graduate students to be here. And we are so grateful to have you here and at Teal furthering your academic pursuits. So I would now ask that our graduate students, many of whom are sporting their beautiful teal blue scrubs to please stand and be recognized. We are equally thrilled to have all of you as new members of our Teal community. To our re returning students, welcome back. We've missed you all over the summer months and we are so delighted to have you back on campus and know that you will help guide, mentor, and embrace this new class of 2025 as they begin their journey at Teal, much like you did in previous years. Thank you to the group of student leaders on stage with us, our peer mentors. You've already begun this important work and we appreciate your leadership in and commitment to helping our new students. Finally, welcome to my colleagues, the many members of your faculty and staff who've worked tirelessly to prepare for a new and exciting academic year with all of you. Students, you will not find a group of more dedicated and talented professionals and scholars, and they are all here to help you learn, grow, and succeed. So thank you to my wonderful colleagues for all that you do. 
Now I'd like to invite to the podium your elected leader of the student body, student government president, Hannah Ushok, to lead the class of 2025 through the reciting of the Teal College Pledge. Thank you all and best of luck on the new academic year. Good morning. President Traverso, honored guests, faculty, staff, and fellow students. As the president of the Teal College Student Government Association, it is my distinct honor to welcome you to opening convocation. This convocation truly is what definition states, a gathering of people for a special purpose. Today, our special purpose is to recognize the incoming class of 2025 and celebrate the important step they are taking in their lives, joining the Teal College community. We also have the great privilege of welcoming and involving our new graduate students in this important campus tradition. As the president of the Student Government Association, I want to extend a special welcome to the graduates and I wish you all the best of luck in your continued academic journey. Members of the class of 2025, these next four years will pass by quickly and challenge you both in and outside the classroom. As you join this community, we ask you to give your best effort in all you do, in your studies and your activities while you're on campus or representing Teal College in the world. Teal is an institution steeped in tradition, many of which you'll learn during your first semester. Today, we will participate in one of your first Teal traditions, reciting the Teal College Pledge. You can be assured the faculty, staff, and administration will demonstrate their deep commitment to your success on many occasions and in many forms over the course of your time here. Today, as a part of this ceremony, we ask you to pledge your commitment to the institution that will become your home for the next four years. I would now like to ask all members of the class of 2025 to stand and join me in reciting the Teal College Pledge. The pledge can be found in your program for reference as we recite it. Now please repeat after me. As a member of the Teal College community, I state your name. <laughs> Understand that I am expected to uphold the highest standards of academic integrity. I therefore pledge that I will not engage in academic misconduct, including plagiarism, cheating, and disruptive or inappropriate classroom behavior. Furthermore, I pledge to hold my fellow students to the same standards and report violations of this honor code. Thank you and welcome to Teal College. <laughs> At this time, I would like to invite the president of the college, Dr. Susan Traverso, to the podium. Thank you, Hannah, for your leadership, and uh, thank you for all the leaders of the SGA uh, this year for playing this important role, the important role they play uh, to supporting students' excellence and their commitment to Teal. Thank you, Hannah. Well, opening convocation is the first common hour this fall and it will probably be my, a little bit longer than an hour because of the ritual, but typically on Thursdays at Teal, we have this one hour from 11 to 12 where there are no classes, no athletic practices, an opportunity for a variety of activities to unfold uh, and we can come together as a community. I encourage all of you, uh, of course, our first year students and new student, new transfers, internationals, our graduate students, to check out the Common Hour schedule it's a rich array of some fun activities, some speakers, some debates, a great opportunity to explore some new ideas and have some fun along the way. 
Next Thursday's Common Hour activity is our Student Activities Fair, where you as new students can learn about all the clubs and organizations. But I would encourage also the staff and faculty here to come out of your offices and take a look because there's just so much going on in these student clubs and organizations led by our own Teal College students. There are a lot of exciting and new developments happening this year. We have our science building under construction. Uh, we have new academic programs, new graduate programs. But among those many exciting things is the introduction of what we're calling the Tomcat Way. And here's a logo. So what is this Tomcat Way? It's a new and creative way to talk about the undergraduate experience or the experience of students at Teal. While it's largely designed for undergraduates, I would encourage the graduate students to also reflect on this model. Your, your walk, this journey at Teal will be much more accelerated than our four-year students, but I suspect the, the phases of this journey that I'm going to touch on today, uh, you could identify with. But students, um, we believe that at Teal, we want to draw on the expertise, the hundreds of years of experience of our faculty and staff in working with undergraduate students and now graduate students, as well as pull on the literature on college learning. Now students, you not, might not be aware, but there are scholars across this country, in fact, across the globe, who study the experience of college students. They do research on you, and in fact, we have a couple of members of our own faculty, that's one of their areas of expertise, and each year uh, at the scholarship day, we often hear wonderful presentations by students who have studied aspects of the undergraduate experience at Teal. So the Tomcat Way, this model that I want to just touch on and introduce to you, comes out of the expertise of our faculty and staff, but it's also backed up by the research and the scholarship on higher education. And so it's a way, it's a journey, it's to help us support you across those that march through college. And yes, um, it is a four phase program and it will be a, here, and they loosely connect with the four years. But before I touch on each of these stages, I want to say, Everyone goes through college in a different way. Some come in ready to go and they, they have this journey in a very expedited way. Some of our students actually graduate a semester, sometimes a full year early. Other students are a little bit slower on different phases. So it's not one size fits all, but the most important thing I want you to take away from today is that there is a journey ahead of you and on that journey, you're going to grow and you're going to change. You're not going to be the same person you are today when you come back for commencement with all of your family here with your robes on as baccalaureate recipients and you receive your degree. Um, you will be a different person, um, growing out of who you are today, but very much transformed from graduating from college. So let's talk very briefly about this. You're gonna hear a lot about the Tomcat Way this year, perhaps in your classes, certainly with your advisors, in the residence halls, in the learning common, but I wanna just briefly introduce it to you so you get started on your journey. The journey starts in this model in a phase of exploration and undergraduates and beginning graduate students, you're in that phase right now. It is both an exciting and frightening time but it's also a phase of immense possibilities. It's a time where you should be open, open to new ideas, to making new friends, to taking courses that are unfamiliar to you, having conversations with people from very different backgrounds from yourself. It's a time where you should join clubs and organizations that you weren't part of in high school. It's a time uh, where you should be thinking about a number of majors. I know many of you come saying, I'm going to be an English major, a business major, a biology major, and I applaud that because that clarity can help you get a good start. But I would ask you to understand that a third of our first year students and even some of our transfers change their majors. So during this phase of exploration, be focused on what you were inspired to study 
but be open to other possibilities as well and talk to your advisor about that. Now, the exploration phase is a time sometimes of great uncertainty. You thought you were going to major in this, now it's changing. You thought you were always active uh, in high school in this club and now you're disinterested. You came to play football, you're thinking maybe not, maybe a different athletic squad. So it can be a time of uncertainty, but I want to assure all of you here that we're here to support you through that time. Step forward, have conversations. Uh, we have worked with freshmen, in my case, for over 25 years. Um, and we will help you as you find your way through this really exciting time of exploration. Now from that phase, you move into what we call the envision phase. And this is a phase where you're still open to new ideas, new beliefs, but they're beginning to have more relevance to who you think you're going to be in college. It's starting to weave together. You played on one ath athletic squad, you had a great first year. Now you're moving in and understanding how that athletic participation is going to really be part of your four years at the college. You're beginning to take a, a second or maybe a third course in your major. It's beginning to weave together. That prepares you to move to the third phase, which I think is the most exciting phase. For most of our students, that happens in their junior year. In their junior year, it really starts to come together. You have a sense that you are at your college, that you are in your academic major. Your courses and your leadership opportunities are really weaving together. Perhaps you're a peer mentor. Now, how many are juniors here? Okay, this is the cool stage. It's starting to make sense. The rest of you are sophomores, moving different from exploration, right? More in envisioning, but not quite as cool as it's completely weaving together. But you're moving quickly as leaders on campus already as sophomores. So this is the time where you might be the president of your Greek association. You might be the captain of your team. This is the time where you can say, I can tell you my sense of meaning and purpose for having been at Teal, now my college. And then the fourth phase builds on that, all that confidence, but you're now looking outward. It's that launch phase, looking forward to starting your career and start, or starting graduate school. So this is the path, you're gonna learn more about it. The sophomores this year are going to have a retreat around this, but I wanted today to introduce to you, you are on a journey, it's a transformative journey, it's a journey of growth, a journey of change. And so, in conclusion, there's so much to look forward to in this unfolding year at Teal. We will support each other. This is not exactly how we thought this year would open, but we can do it. We did it last year. We can keep ourselves healthy and safe, protecting each other as we protect ourselves. And so I wish everyone here, undergraduates and of course our graduate students, faculty and staff, friends of the college, alumni, I wish you the very best for a fantastic 2021-22 20, academic year. Go Tomcats. Good afternoon. I think it's actually afternoon now. So as the academic dean, I also want to welcome all of our new students um, and members of our community to campus. As the academic dean, it is my honor to officially open the 2021-2022 academic year. This year brings new people to our community, including new faculty and staff across campus, as well as our 61 graduate students, 40 of whom have to go off to their last final exam this semester, their practical exam. Good luck. As many of you know, last summer we opened two graduate programs, really the first two in the college's history a Master of Science in Speech-Language Pathology, and a Master's of Business Administration. This summer, as if that wasn't enough, this summer we also opened, as you know, our PA program, who just left us, and a small but mighty Master's of Arts in Communication and Leadership. <laughs> yeah. 
So we have welcomed new faculty members in the departments of communication, biology, history, counseling, physician assistant studies, communication sciences and disorders, new staff members across campus in accessibility resources, faculty services, and also in housekeeping, facilities, student life, athletics, and admissions. Welcome to everyone who is new. We also, as we do every year, see people in new roles. So you will see over here to my left, Dr. Pickens, who is now, as of 16th, as of last week, we're like 10 days in, um, an associate academic dean and registrar. And we will, um, we will see Denise Ure retire in the coming weeks after 27 years of wonderful and dedicated service to the college in a variety of roles, including registrar. We also welcome over 280 new students into the Teal family. You all look amazing. We have a new Department of Counseling to launch a Master's of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling in a year from now. Everything we do in this room, on this campus, is in support of our students. Students, turn around for me. Just turn your heads to the back. What I want you to see, yes, thank you, everybody. you got it, wonderful. Thank you for, thank you for waving to them. <laughs> students, you can see that your faculty are behind you. That is by design and with intentionality. Our faculty are here for you, to support you, to help you grow and learn, become the people you are meant to be, and they have your backs. In a moment, I'm going to invite my good friend and colleague, Dean McKinney, to the front with me. And our new undergraduates will receive a tassel like the one that you will have at commencement. Okay. Um, I hope you save it as a reminder of today and as a symbol of all the possibilities that will open for you over your years at Teal, academically, spiritually, and socially. As your academic dean, I encourage you to use this time in your life um, as a touch point to your journey. We would love if you use the Tomcat way as sort of a metaphor. When, when in May 2025, those of you who are first year students, all of your hard work will culminate in coming back across this stage where I will call your name, and it will be pronounced correctly, and President Traversal will be waiting right over here, okay, waiting for you with a smile of pride on her face, an outstretched hand, and your diploma. So good morning, good afternoon, and I open the academic year. Thank you. stand for the singing of the alma mater, which is printed in your program, and remain standing until after the singing of the alma mater as uh, our pastor Brian Riddle will be giving the closing prayer. Thank you.
Let us pray. O Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden, through perils yet unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love is supporting us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.